Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through the PCL SAG test, which stands for the Posterior Cruciate Ligament SAG test. As you can probably tell, this is to investigate the posterior cruciate ligament of the knee joint, and in particular, to see whether or not our patient has a PCL tear. So let's go through the technique. We're going to be bringing both of our patient's legs up together into a position where there's 90 degrees hip flexion and 90 degrees knee flexion. If our patient's happy to, we can ask them to do that actively. We can bring that one up, and if you don't mind, bring the other one up too. And then with one hand, we're just going to cradle um, the both legs with our forearm, and our hand, our forearm is resting um, underneath both of the Achilles tendons of our patient. And here we can ask our patient to relax. We'll hold the legs here for them. So from here, the test is just to observe, and we're looking to see whether the tibial tuberosity of the affected leg is sitting lower relative to the patella and the rest of the knee joint. That's how we actually do the test, and a positive result is where you do indeed see a difference whereby the tibial tuberosity on the affected leg is sitting posteriorly relative to the other side. That's your positive outcome. So what do we tend to find in clinical practice? Well, actually, a PCL tear is not very common. Uh, we, our patients are much more likely to tear their ACL during uh, a, a variety of traumas. However, you might look for signs in your subjective history that indicate that there may have been a situation where the tibia moved posteriorly relative to the femur during their trauma. For example, you often find when a patient um, has had a car accident, car versus pedestrian, where they're standing at a zebra crossing and the car hasn't stopped. And for example, that means the car's impacted into their anterior leg, that the, the um, tibia has moved posteriorly relative to the femur, and that may have created a PCL tear. But generally, it's not a very common injury. Although, good to look out for. 